If you want to add that personalized touch to your videos, to your content across social media, today we're going to talk about how to make your own font. What we're going to need today is an Apple Pencil, an iPad, I have the iPad Pro right here, and you also want to have a computer to load this onto. So I'm going to use my MacBook Air to load the font onto, and then you can use this on your computer for almost any program, especially in video editing. So the first thing that we're going to do is download this app called Font Self. You do have to pay for it. This video is not sponsored by them, but it's a great tool for doing this. I'm going to show you how to do this. So once you've downloaded Font Self, we're going to go to right here on these different templates. We're going to go to hand on the left, and we're going to start writing out the letters to our font. So we'll just do this here. It's nice because it has this template underneath. And if you write fast like I do, it'll gather naturally your handwriting. And you can always go back and refine this and then export out the font again. But let's do all of these real quick. There is more, so if I two finger scroll. Oh, I messed up on my S there, but that's okay. We'll keep this for demo purposes. Then we'll start our lowercase letters. You'll see at the top here, it shows my handwriting for the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And it's starting to add in the lowercase letters as I write them here. Can't really talk and write letters at the same time. I'm not as skilled. Two finger scroll, make sure you get everything. Then we'll go to numbers. Actually, that's not how I do my ones, so we're gonna go back. So if I go to the eraser in the top right, I'm gonna erase this. Tap on the pen again. Okay, I'll just do my ones like that. I'm gonna go down some more. I think we're almost to the bottom here. You could zoom in and zoom out if you need to. You can also tilt this, so if you wanna write at an angle, you can. So watch this, I'll do this at, at an angle. Period, comma, colon, underscore, dash, hashtag. And let's see, I think we're to the end of our characters here. Okay, that is step one. You'll see at the top, you'll see at the top, this is all of my handwriting. That's how it looks when I write. So then what I'll do next is I'll do the share icon you can export the font file, install the font file. Um, there is kind of a workaround to install it on your iOS devices. And if you do that, there's only certain applications that'll use custom fonts. So I don't, I don't actually use it on my iPad or on my iPhone, I use it on my computer. But that's okay because that's where my main workflow is. So I'm gonna export this font file. Let's call it Rogers Writing. Can't put an apostrophe in there. Export, and it's preparing the font file and compiling it and what I'll do is I will save this to my desktop, and that's my desktop that's synced to the desktop on my computer for iCloud. So we are done with this iPad, and we're gonna to move to our computer. But before we do, this video is not sponsored by FontSelf today, but I do wanna put a plug in for Musicbed. Musicbed is the music library of choice that I use for all of my content here. If you're a filmmaker or a creator looking to level up your sound, they've got a massive library of music that's cinematic, curated, and easy to license. I use them for all of my work. If you wanna try it out, I'll have a link in the description that has my code in there where you can save 15% off your first subscription. So check out the link in the description. So now I have Rogers writing this OTF font on my computer. Then if I double click on it, it's gonna open fonts. It'll ask me if I want to install this font. There it is there. I only have one weight, so it's regular. There's my handwriting, I'll install. And after I install, you'll see that under my fonts, I have my fonts right here. There they all are. And you'll see these are all the letters that I wrote in my iPad. But now it's installed on my computer. So if I go to an application like Premiere Pro, special plug for Premiere Pro, special plug for Lightroom, um, special plug for Adobe. If you didn't know yet, I am speaking at Adobe Max. I've got two photo walk sessions that I'll be guiding. So go register for Adobe Max and I'll see you in October. So let's go to Premiere Pro. I'm gonna start a new project. Now what we're doing is now that we're in Premiere Pro and I can hit play, there's my video there. What I can do is I can create text here saying snorkeling in Thailand. Then we'll go to our text changes. Let's make the font a little bigger so we can see it. We're gonna center it. Now what I wanna do is find the font that I made. So I'm gonna go in and type in Rogers Writing. And let's move this down. 
I'm going to command D so that it fades in and fades out. There it is. And then let's put an adjustment layer on. What I'll do is I'll manually fade this. Okay, there we go. There's that. Okay, I'll hit play and watch this. Snorkeling in Thailand. That's my handwriting. So as you think about this, like the possibilities are endless. You could take it into After Effects and change it any way that you want to. But now you have your own custom font. You can install this on a Mac machine. You can install this on an Apple computer. You can install this on a Windows machine. I imagine Android's a little easier to work with fonts on there and custom fonts and the applications that they have. And under iOS and iPad OS, they're a little more strict on their software, a little more of a closed system. So there's only select few applications that you can use where you can use custom fonts. But go check it out. If this was helpful for you, let me know. Leave a comment in the description, like, and share the video with those that you feel would find value in it. And also don't forget to subscribe for some more creator tips. Thanks for watching. Peace.